All the Who's who lived in Whoville loved Christmas. But the Grinch, who lived just above Whoville, did not. No one knew why the Grinch hated Christmas. Maybe because his head was not screwed on right. His shoes, perhaps, were too tight. But most guessed it was that his heart was two sizes too small. <laughs> Every Christmas Eve, he stood staring down from his cave, hating the Who's so busy below. Huh? Planning their Christmas Day coming just tomorrow. I must find a way to stop Christmas from coming, the Grinch growled. He knew if he did not stop Christmas from coming, the children would make so much noise with all their new Christmas toys. And then all the Who's would sit down to their Christmas feast. And after their feast, they did something the Grinch liked the least of all. All the Who's in Whoville would stand close together with all the Christmas bells ringing. They would stand hand in hand and they would all start singing. I must stop Christmas from coming. He then got an idea. He made a Santa Claus hat and coat and dressed up just like Saint Nick. He took his dog Max and tied a big horn on his head to make him look like a reindeer. He tied Max to an old sled and loaded some sacks and they traveled down the mountain towards the town of Whoville. The Who's were all sleeping on this night before Christmas. But as they lay asleep, the Grinch slithered down chimneys and he took all the stockings and all the presents. He then went to the fridge to take all the Who's feast. He took the Who pudding and even the roast beast. He took all the extras and even their last can of Who hash. He then took all the stuff and threw it up the chimney with glee. And then, he even stuffed up the tree. He then heard a small sound and turned to see. Little Cindy Lou Who, who was not more than two. She asked the Grinch, Santa Claus, why are you taking our Christmas tree? The Grinch thought up a lie and told Cindy Lou a light was broken and he was taking the tree to his workshop. Then he would return the tree all fixed up. Cindy Lou smiled and went back to bed. He then stuffed the tree up. He even took a crumb so there was nothing even for a mouse. He did the same thing to every Who house and then packed up his sled. He raced to the top of Mount Crumpet where he would dump all the Who's Christmas goodies. He grinned as he thought of all the Who's waking up and crying boo-hoo. The Grinch put his hand to his ear to listen to the Who's boo-hooing. What he did hear was quite a surprise. He heard the Who's singing. Every Who was singing, even without all their presents. The Grinch had not stopped Christmas at all. The Grinch then realized Christmas does not come from a store. He then realized Christmas is so much more. And what happened then in Whoville, they say, is that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart grew, he raced back towards Whoville with all the presents and toys and all the food for the feast.
the Who's of Whoville greeted him with open arms and invited the Grinch to their Christmas feast. And as the Grinch sat beside Cindy Lou Who, he carved the roast beast. The end.